I focus on some high on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, it's that time of the week. ROM of the week for Galaxy S5 series. Uh, I've got a couple ROMs, custom ROMs that I can recommend to you, both TouchWiz and CM11. Um, so let's go take a look, baby. All right, first up is Clinch ROM. You can go ahead and install this ROM. Uh, on AT&T Galaxy S5. Oh yes, it works with Safestrap or T-Mobile Galaxy S5, also the G900F. Uh, this is uh, based on actually the international G900F. Also, you can also install on G900M, G900W8, the Canadian models, also G900i. I'll have all the models you can install for this ROM. Um, so make sure you read my post on my site, galaxys5root.com, before trying to install it. Uh, for those of you using Safestrap on AT&T Galaxy S5 like I do, um, you cannot install the custom kernel. Uh, but uh, if you are using um, other Galaxy S5 models, you can go ahead and install K-Tweaker uh, kernel along with it and get uh, some awesome battery life and overclocking. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. This is um, completely themed out in uh, Windows. And let me go ahead and show you the uh, reboot menu here. And... Also, uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the custom animations. Uh, for example, if I press there, uh, home button, you'll see a nice uh, exit animation there. It's all over the place. Uh, pretty nice stuff. And uh, these are all the apps that come with it. Um, also, you get Viper for Android. And also, it's a, it's a tethering, bleh, it's an international ROM, so tethering works out of the box. Um, so for those of you on US carriers like AT&T or T-Mobile, you'll be able to tether out of the box, uh, no problem. Uh, what's really cool about this ROM is not the Windows theme, but the keyboard. Um, so it's got a nice little uh, Windows-like keyboard, um, some, some sort of change um, to your regular keyboard. So some of, the, some of you looking for something new, um, definitely this is the way to go. Now as far as number of customizations, you'll be able to access all of that, do a long press in home. And uh, you can go to home screen settings here. Uh, you'll be able to change your theme. Also, if you don't like this Windows theme, um, go ahead and also flash the TouchWiz themes, uh, the high on Android TouchWiz themes, and you'll be able to get uh, like almost like 20 additional themes. So if you don't like this theme and you want to turn it, uh, my favorite is actually the LG G3. Um, you can go ahead and apply, and boom shakalaka. Um, you should have a LG G3 theme and turn your phone into an LG G3. Um, also, let me go ahead and show you some of the other options uh, this one does come with. Uh, it does come with a couple exposed modules, um, some access to the quick settings. Um, you can quickly access there. Um, so overall, very, very zippy launcher. Um, you know, if you've been using stock ROM, this is definitely going to like refresh in your phone, uh, make it super fast. Uh, of course, if you're using K-Tweaker kernel, it's going to make it super fast. Um, so very nice lightweight ROM uh, with some theming and uh, you know ability to install the additional TouchWiz themes um, and also the custom animations. And let's go to the next ROM of the week. All right, next ROM of the week uh, for Sprint and Verizon Galaxy S5 for this week. Uh, check out Rick's ROM. Uh, this is based on the Verizon Galaxy S5. Uh, but you can go ahead and install it on your Sprint Galaxy S5. It is based on Android 4.4.4. Um, so make sure if you're using Verizon or Sprint, you have upgraded to the latest uh, NI2 uh, firmware for your Verizon Galaxy S5 and also NI3. Another way you can check it is just check your rate, uh, baseband because if you did upgrade um, your firmware um, to the NI2 or the NI3, um, you should see uh, baseband ending in NI3, NI2. If you have that, you can go ahead and install this uh, ROM uh, for Sprint or Verizon Galaxy S5. For Sprint users, you will have to um, do the hack where you add the APN. Let me show you that real quick. Uh, and I got both data working. Also, I've got, I fi figured out a way uh, to get MMS working, the default MMS working also. Uh, the way to do that is just simply install a Sprint MMS.apk file over the ROM. Um, just basically use ES File Explorer, uh, turn on Root Explorer, and also uh, go to Mount Read Write, uh, enable system here, and then go ahead and copy the MMS file. I'll have the download link on my site. Um, I've also updated the instructions over at High on Android. Um, go into slash, ah, go into your uh, the main slash here, go to system, and then go to privapp. 
and then go ahead and paste that in. The, the file name for the Galaxy S5 is going to be secmms uh, blue.apk file. Um, go ahead and write over it and then also select it, go to properties, um, go to change, make sure it's read, write, read, read, okay. Uh, reboot and your MMS should be working. So I just tested it out. Uh, MMS works just fine uh, for the Sprint. Everything works on the Sprint Galaxy S5 uh, for the Verizon ROM. Now let me go ahead and go into this ROM. Uh, this ROM does come with a modded launcher and also you don't, you have no, absolutely no delay in the uh, home button there. Um, it is very deep bloated. This is all the apps you will find uh, pretty much. You get some three minute uh, battery settings where you can go ahead and change the battery icon. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and change it. Um, other than that, it's it's a very deep bloated uh, ROM. Also, you can use uh, art on this ROM if you want to do that. Uh, make sure to go to about phone here, hit the build number. For those of you who don't know what art is, it's, def it's just basically a different way uh, of how your phone works. Um, so hit the build number a bunch of times and then you'll get developer options. And here you'll be able to change it. Uh, you should be able to change it to art here. Where is it? Ah, did I miss it? Oh, here we go. Select runtime system. So Android 5.0 will use art by default, but uh, up to Android 4.4.4 KitKat, you do have option of using art and hit OK. And that will get you on art, which is, some people say it's faster. I. I really don't notice too much difference, but um, you know, you can go ahead and use it. That's one of the cool things about this ROM. Uh, but overall, very nice ROM. It is a very fast ROM. All right, so next, let's go ahead and check out another ROM uh, for the ROM of the week. Do check out Bobcat ROM. This is one of my favorite ROMs for the Galaxy S4 and Note 3. Note, I think Note, yeah, Note 3. Um, it is available. This is based on the International G900F. But you can go ahead and install on T-Mobile, G900T, also Canadian, uh, also all the Qualcomm-based international models. Um, this one comes with Aroma installer, so you can install it on AT&T S5. But I did edit it. I did hack the Aroma installer. I removed the Aroma installer, installed it on my AT&T Galaxy S5. Uh, so the one without Aroma just installs everything, all the options and stuff. Um, so let me go ahead and show you with my AT&T Galaxy S5 version. And uh, this is certainly is one of my favorite ROMs ever. And uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff you can do with this ROM. All right, you'll find a modded uh, TouchWiz launcher. It is really fast and also themed. Um, if you don't like the theme, you can go ahead and change it to a bunch of different themes. You can find that under a Bobcat ROM control. And if you go to a theme customization, and touch with theme manager here. Um, it actually comes with only like six Bobcat uh, themes, but you can go ahead and install the high on Android touch with themes zip file uh, and you can get additional uh, zip files and change it to whatever you want. Let's just do uh, my UI theme here. And um, that way, if you don't like the Bobcat theme, personally, I really love it. Uh, I think it's kind of pretty cool. Um, you can go ahead and use that app. Uh, you can go ahead and use the uh, Bobcat ROM control to change the theme. Let me go ahead and change it back um, since we are kind of featuring the uh, Bobcat ROM. One of the coolest things about it is the theme. And of course, you got a nice drop down here. And I don't know what that button does. Oh, that's the ROM control. So cool stuff. I just found that out. Um, other things you can do, if you go to extra settings here, you can go ahead and enable quad multi-window. Just go ahead and enable for multi-window style reboot. And you'll be able to access uh, multi-window but make sure you enable multi-window in the first place and this is the settings menu uh, by the way this ROM is Android 4.4.2 obviously um, not obviously but it is based on Android 4.4.2 and let me go ahead and show you multi-window here make sure you turn that on if you want multi-window and then you'll be able to hold down the back button uh, to enable multi-window uh, one of the cool things about this ROM, along with that quad multi-window, you can actually ins open up to three instances of uh, Chrome. Ah. All right, no thanks. Um, here we go, which is really cool. I haven't actually seen this on any ROM. Oh, you know what? I have to actually multi- I thought I've, uh, I actually reinstalled this ROM. That's why what happened. I'll be back. All right, actually, while that's rebooting, we can look at the other uh, phone here with the same ROM. Um, as far as data, MMS, everything should be working out uh, out of the box because the um, 
These are all GSM ROMs. There are a bunch of other extra stuff you can check out. It does come with Viper 4 Android, YouTube Attaway, Flash Player. Um, did I forget anything? But let's go back into Bobcat ROM control here. Uh, extra settings. You can also add a, your all of your favorite um, apps into the multi-window. Ch change the battery icon if you want to. I'm using the three-minute battery settings. And let me go ahead and show you the multi-window here. You can actually do up to three Chrome. Uh, if you use a regular browser, you can actually do up to four. But if you try to do four here, oh, you'll get unnumber unsupported number of Chrome instances, uh, which isn't too bad. But you can go ahead and use the default browser. But my definite favorite is Chrome browser. I never use the Samsung browser anymore. Chrome is so much better because once you sign in, um, it signs in to all of your passwords. Everything just you know signed in. So especially for me because I switch phones on the go. So if I have a install a clean new ROM and you know I have to redo all my passwords for all my sites, it's just a pain in the ass. But Chrome definitely saves me all of that head headache. I can set up a new phone in minutes. Uh, have all my passwords, all that good stuff. So quad multi window working out of the box, um, not out of the box, but you can enable it. And if you go back to um, Bobcat ROM control, uh, you'll find some utilities here. You can go ahead and uh, use. Um, ah. All right, and did I forget to show you anything? Uh, Viper for Android Air Wake Up. This is sort of cool. You can go ahead and uh, if you hover your hand over it uh, for a couple seconds, your phone will um, turn on automatically. There we go. That's kind of cool when you're washing your hands and stuff. Um, just an extra uh, mod there. And also you can change the sound levels here, uh, sound boost levels if you want it, uh, your speakers louder, you can have it uh, boost to sound gain or medium sound gain. That's great if you li like to listen to Pandora or your favorite music on the go on your phone with the speakers. Uh, additional stuff you can do here and also you can even change the DPI here, very nice. Uh, overall, very nice set of features. Um, you know, I've always loved Bobcat ROM. Um, you know, the name's kind of cool. It's American. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool and it's very nice um, and stable and fast. And also, you get a ton of great features. Um, you know, the developer of this ROM is just excellent. So definitely one of my favorite ROMs for the S5 now and also the Note 3 and I think the S4. So definitely check it out. Um, this ROM is also awesome. All right, ROM of the week, AOSP ROM of the week is CM11. These are snapshot, uh, these are not actually snapshots, uh, but they are nightlies. They're available for any Galaxy S5 uh, with an unlock bootloader. Uh, pretty much everyone except for AT&T and Verizon, um, as long as you have a Qualcomm-based Galaxy S5. I've got it installed on my Sprint Galaxy S5 and also uh, my T-Mobile Galaxy S5 uh, running pretty good. The last time I went over CM11, uh, NFC wasn't working now. Everything is working out of the box. The latest nightlies are actually pretty darn uh, solid. Everything working out of the box. Um, I've been using this one as um, sort of a semi-daily driver and uh, looking actually really, really good. So definitely check it out for this week's round of the week. Uh, if you wanna turn your Galaxy S5 into a pure Google phone, CM11 is the way to go. Um, it's super smooth, you're not, you're not gonna see any kind of touch with lag. Um, performance is excellent and everything working out of the box and battery life is also pretty good. Uh, the next thing we're probably looking for is uh, overclocking and stuff. Um, there is K Tweaker kernel you can try, it's over at XDA. Um, I haven't actually tried it, but that's probably my next step. But definitely check it out. If you have a Galaxy S5 that supports CM11, um, you know, definitely check it out. This is another way to uh, have fun with your Galaxy S5. Um, so that's pretty much it for this week. And thanks guys for watching this video. You can find all the downloads on my site at galaxys5root.com. Check the description for the link to all the ROMs I've mentioned and also all the details on how to install it. Um, and uh, that's about it, and I'll try to have more of these. And do let me know if you like me combining all of these around the week into one video, or do you like it uh, if I make individual videos? Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, and as always, I'll stay here on Android.